Today we will learn, how to create this interesting photo manipulation, so let's start. We have two images for this manipulation, let's open these in Photoshop. So first thing I'm going to do is, extract the fingers from this image. We will use quick selection tool. You can just click and drag around your subject to make a selection. If you accidentally selected something that shouldn't be selected, like this here, you can hold Alt or Option on the Mac, and click and drag to subtract from the selection. Now the selection is not perfect but it's a great starting point. Now, create a layer mask from the selection. Copy this layer and put it on this eye image right here. Here you can see in the fingers, light is coming from left side, but in the eye, light is coming from right side, to match the light direction, select I layer, and free transform, by pressing Ctrl T or Command T on the Mac, right click, select fill horizontal. Here I feel little distraction by this hair, let's crop it. This finger on its position and rotate a little bit and scale down now it's time for us to match the color and the brightness to match the color first select the hand layer go down to adjustment layer and then color balance and don't forget to press this clipping mask icon clipping mask allows you to apply this effect only to the hand layer now let's increase the redness decrease the magenta and increase yellow more. I think color looks good. Now let's match the brightness. Go to adjustment again, select brightness and contrast. Decrease the brightness. And again clipping mask. As you can see after clipping mask, this adjustment layer only applied to the hand layer. Now let's refine the rough edges of this finger. Select the mask of the hand layer, go to brush tool, and make sure foreground color is black. I'm just going to paint with black on a layer mask to hide. edges. Now, I want this lower eyelid to be a little bit stretched downward. To do that, go to filter and liquify. I will just go and move here, a little bit to make it like stretched by a finger. Hit OK after finish the liquify. It looks good, but you can see in some area, it's overstretched. We will fix it later. For now let's select mask of the hand layer, and paint black on those overexposed area to hide. And paint with white on a layer mask to reveal. Now. Let's fix this overstretched area again with Liquify. Select the eye layer, and go to Filter, Liquify. Everything looks fine. Now it's time for us to create a soft shadow, for this finger. Let me show you one interesting technique to do that. First, select the eye layer, because the shadow of the finger will be on top of the eye layer, and below the hand layer. And then create a level adjustment. Let me rename this layer quickly, to understand layer easily. 
Let's decrease brightness with the slider. And bring the slightness slider down. Then we will use this darkness level adjustment as a soft shadow of the finger. Invert the mask with Ctrl I or Command I on the Mac. And take a brush tool. And we know the concept of the mask, white shows up. And black hides. That's why select the white color and start painting. Soft shadow looks good. Without further ado, take a look at the shadow of this ball. We have already made the soft shadow. Now let's create a contact shadow. Go to the adjustment layer, and, then select level again. All the processes seem like soft shadow, but this time, we will paint sharp shadow where fingers touch to the eye's skin. Now let's create shadow on the top of the hand layer. To do that, select hand layer, and go to adjustment layer, level, and decrease the brightness. Invert the layer mask, and again paint white. a little bevel, or depth effect in this area. Look at this image, here it shows how the light and shadow can give the dimension to the flat circle. So how we can get that effect in Photoshop? Simple, by the dodge and burn method. Let's create a new layer, and fill it with gray, to get the perfect gray color, here I type 50% value of brightness and change the blending mode to overlay. In a overlay blend mode, gray will be invisible, it will only shows the dark or bright color. With the help of that, we can paint light and shadow. Let's take a brush, and paint light, with white color. Light is coming from left side, so highlights will be here in this side. Paint black to create shade area. Now let's change the color of the iris. Select the eye layer, go to the hue and saturation adjustment. Let's take this hand color sample tool, and select the color, here I'm selecting this yellow iris color. I'm going to decrease the saturation, and change the hue. Here you can see hue saturation also applied to the other face area. Because of yellowness in the face as well. But don't worry about it, we gonna mask this out. So. First invert the mask, with Ctrl I or Command I on the Mac. 
Now, take a brush tool and select white color, and start painting. I think we must remove some dodge and burn here, very simple, we know overlay blend mode hide the gray color. So, let's select the gray color, but this time, we will select gray color from dodge and burn layer, because we had already filled gray in that layer, hold the ALT key, and click on this visible icon, to isolate the layer. As you can see where we have painted the highlights and shadows. Now let's paint a gray color, and remove highlight and shadow. Now, let's merge all layer into the one single separate layer, for that, create a new layer, rename it, press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and, E. After merge the layer, keep all the layer into one folder for a backup. Now let's move on to color grading, and I'm going to start by using the camera raw filter. Here I'm, experimenting with these sliders. Let's create a solid color and select warm color like this. And we gonna divide this color from our image. So let's go to blending mode and select divide. So here is our final result.